let us understand the principles of application of tense what are the main things that should be remembered when you are applying the tense right the first thing is the position of electrode we had discussed this uh, two lectures back that the uh, cathode has to be kept proximal anode has to be kept distal depending on what type of uh, disease you are going to treat or what type of pain relief you want you have to decide whether the position of electrode should be on the skin right over the pain surrounding the pain uh, uh, the myotomal position the dermatomal position or the neuronal position again we have discussed about this on what type of tense you are going to apply and the selection of current and if you feel that you need a spinal a segmental relief then you can place it near the root uh, of that particular nerve or near the root value of that area uh, uh, around the spine for example when we talk about labor pain we normally place the electrode near t12 uh, uh, t uh, 12 and l1 and l3 and l4 so that it covers that area which uh, which area actually supplies the uh, the uh, uh, area involved in labor pain right so either you can go for a spinal application or you can go for a local skin application on the skin around the area of pain right second we have already seen that on what criteria we will select whether we have to go for conventional whether we have to go for all tense or whether we have to go for burst tense so if it is acute pain and if it is too much painful we can go for burst tense right if it is a chronic dull aching pain right which is a dull aching pain going on continuously that time we can go for the conventional tense and we can use all tense when we need extra segmental inhibition also right so the pain is on and off and the pain whenever it comes is in very high pitch that time you can go for all tense again how much you have to give and the selection of current will be based on the type of presentation of the pain that the patient is giving to us right timing and dosage already this also we have discussed but i'll just brief it over here that the timing we have already seen that when you are applying the conventional tense it is for long term right if there is more pain it is given for long term and a low frequency current is given low intensity current is given for longer period of time right if it is a, a, a spasmodic pain or if it is a pain that comes and goes and accordingly you can switch on the timings if you are going for selection of all tense or burst tense you have to remember that all tense the timing of application per session is 13 minutes for burst tense the timing of application per session is 15 minutes right you can insert the patient to self apply it for two to three sessions or whenever the pain is more right but not continuously that has to be remembered most important part is that you have to give a trial session to the patient you have to give trial session to the patient with all the three types of currents or depending on the patient's condition so that the patient understands what type of current and stimulation he will be getting normally when we tell a patient that we are going to give you current the patient gets inhibited right he gets inhibited that you are going to give me shock so shock is different when compared to our surge currents or the controlled currents that we are going to give and this is must that we make the patient experience this current before we start with the treatment and once the patient feels comfortable and accustomed he can be instructed to use it wisely by himself if you need more than one sessions at home the patient can use it itself there are thousands of units uh, available which are self use units which are available over the counter uh, without prescription right a patient can carry them with him whenever he wants there are portable units of tens so that can also make a difference right so a trial session has to be given so that the patient experiences and he decides that what type of current and where and how he should take you have to give him the dosage for example if it is a chronic pain you can tell the patient to apply it uh, for 2 hours uh, leaving 1 hour in between so that he can go for 2 to 3 3 to 4 sessions per day you can tell the patient depending on if he is having spasmodic pain or if he is having acute pain 2 uh, to 3 times a day he can go for uh, uh, selection of uh, the all tense or burst tense accordingly and he can apply it right 
but they should be based on the patient's pain preference not on absolutely person patient's preference so this has to be remembered the last thing is that they decrease responsiveness what can be the possible reasons that you have given a patient a prescription of application of tens he is coming to you twice a day for taking the sessions and in between it he is taking it at home also still the the effectivity of tens doesn't come the pain relief that you expected will not come what can be the possible reasons for this one reason can be clinical decision making right that uh, when you decided the type of current and the duration of current that can differ that can be one thing secondly uh, whether it is a ac equipment or whether it is a dc equipment if it is a best battery operated equipment the battery life the consumption of battery the the discharge of battery can be one factor that is reducing the effectivity uh, when compared to the direct uh, equipment ac equipment that we are using in our clinics use of channel is also very important that uh, uh, if uh, the patient is using it continuously for longer time we know that there is collection of carbon over the lead and over the over the uh, electrodes right so there can be metabolites collected over the electrodes there can be lead uh, carbon collected over the lead so there can be various factors that are reducing the effectivity right then the application of current whether the patient is uh, placing the electrodes correctly when he is placing by himself or not and accommodation that the patient gets accustomed to the type of current that is given to him right so uh, placement can be one thing then uh, there can be accommodation right that means that the patient gets accommodated or he gets trained with the current that is given to him so the patient starts showing lesser responsiveness or he starts reducing in the responsiveness or the 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 effectivity of the current so these can be certain factors that can affect the patient's responsiveness to the so principles of application you have to understand number one you should know the placement of current that you also place and when the patient is taught then also it should be made clear the choice of current should be completely theoretical based on the patient's pain the timing and dosage should be prescribed to the patient based on the pain trial session must be given to the patient so that he understands the usage of the equipment and the applicability of the current and you have to look that if there are reduced surgery. again one more thing in this uh, uh, can be that probably you have not uh, taken the diagnosis correctly or you have got a wrong diagnosis and you are giving it for example it is not a musculoskeletal pain or it is not uh, not a pain that can be treated with this there is a pathological pain present over there there is a psychosomatic pain present over there so in these cases also the patient will not give you responsiveness so now let us see what are the indications for tens so the most obvious uh, uh, indications for application of tens includes tens for pain relief and in pain relief there can be acute pain there can be chronic pain so acute pain includes post operative pains or incisional pains can be tackled very well with the use of tens labor pains can be tackled very well with the use of in pains because of dysmenorrhea discomfort and pain because of dysmenorrhea can be tackled very well musculoskeletal pains right acute or chronic musculoskeletal pains acute pains can be tackled very well with the help of tens atypical pains right which are not following a typical dermatome myotoma or typical presentation level are also tackled very well uh, with the use of this pain post dental procedures it has been tried in so many things that pain post dental procedures procedures can also be tackled with the help of this and many a times bone fracture pain post bone fracture for example the bone there is a there is a, a, a un a uh, displaced structure of the bone and it has been uh, dealt with conservatively by immobilization and if there also patient feels pains sometimes to reduce that pain of the part of of the broken area also can be treated with the use of tens right so these are the acute conditions where tens can be used. chronic conditions like low back pain and uh, arthritis for example osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis acute exacerbations all these pains can be tackled effectively by this phantom pain after amputation the stump pain if there is the pain in the stump where the patient is going to bear weight and if there there is something that is causing pain or phantom limb pain where the cut part is having pain 
the hand is cut over here there is a below elbow amputation and the patient says i am having pain in my uh, for two fingers or I, I am having burning sensation in my hand all these paresthesias related to pain and paresthesias related to phantom limb sensations can be effectively treated by the use of tens right neuralgias any type of neural para neuralgia parasitica trigeminal neuralgia or any other types of neuralgias can be effectively treated with the help of tens causalgias can also be treated with the help of ten pain related to peripheral nerve injury can also be treated very effectively with the help of tens metastatic bone pain in the healing stage and the metastasis is already taken care of and if there is a pain in the healing stage tens is the modality of choice that can be helpful to the patient other than the medications to reduce the local pain that is present facial pain or anginal pain can also be tackled with the help of this many times they have given trial to anginal pains also there have been trials also to use tens as an antiemetic and to use as circulatory also for example if there is a reconstruction surgery that has taken place and there there are circulatory problems or there are problems with wound healing even to treat them tens is being used and there are trials going on with further and further use of tens in to say in short this is the most effective pain killing modality in physiotherapy that can be used effectively for any type of pain given that the prescription of the pain and the timing and the dosage has to be accurate so please make it a point that in the next slide we are going to discuss the contraindications precautions that are to be taken so taking care in mind the, the contraindications and precautions other than that you can use tens as a complete modality for pain relief in physiotherapy even with exercises also if the patient is having pain or after post exercise also the patient is having pain you can definitely use tens as a modality of choice to reduce post exercise pain also in cases of joint stiffness or in cases of any post traumatic or post ligamentous injury pains also so in short any type of pain can be tackled electively and effectively with the help of tens so it is the analgesic of physiotherapy use it wisely if you understand and use it you will get better effectivity because you will have better choice of parameters if you do not understand and use it you will not have choice of it and it has been proven that effectivity of tens for 10 minutes on daily basis is zero effectivity of application of tens only for 10 minutes in the clinical timing that is as it is given in the opd is zero even if it is given on weekly basis or if it is given on daily basis or it is given on monthly basis also if it is only given for 10 minutes a day it is not going to give any effect other than psychological or placebo effect that it is going to produce so try to understand this and let us move towards the last section of this tense that is the contraindications and the precautions